and I'm back here with another fun unboxing video. I'm really excited about this camera. Um, I've been waiting for this one to come in as well, just like I was with the 6K Pro. I'm just doing a quick reaction to this. So I'm not going too much into detail of all the features and settings of these cameras, but I will be in the future. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with all of those cool things. So let's take a look at this. might seem slightly aggressive but uh let's 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 get this. as always it's packed in the nice black magic packaging and they really just try to get all the details on these cameras on the boxes don't they i mean it's literally the manual on the outside of the box <laughs> let's open this up Ooh, a welcome guide which Per usual, probably has, yep, the QR code to the online manual and some other helpful information. Another Blackmagic sticker. We'll go on some kind of case here soon. And another version of DaVinci Resolve. I have so many of these now, um, so let me know in the comments if you need one. You know, I, I always joke about getting these cameras and not needing a big production style camera to feel like I'm a real cinematographer, but uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta say this, this makes me feel like a real cinematographer. <laughs> wow, there are so many buttons on this thing. Interesting, so wow, okay. know if there was a cable that was supposed to come with this maybe um maybe not i guess i mean i have plenty of them but i'm going to be powering this mostly from uh v-mount batteries so i'll probably be going mostly from that but good to have this i guess and then this little package which fun wiring time uh, yeah one of the reasons i upgraded to this camera is i really loved the amount of dynamic range it had also that it had nd filters inside of it um and it's just another class of camera to work on some of more of my more documentary style projects and travel uh like they're almost travel vlogs but travel stories that's kind of the reason i wanted to get this now i'll still be using my pocket 4k cameras and pocket 6k cameras all the time but i really did want to have something production style that i could use um and also on big client shoots and stuff it just it is it is one of those things that you show up on on set with something like this and people are think you're like, oh, they trust you because you have big equipment. It, it's kind of stupid, but it, it is something when you're doing actual work to have gear that looks professional, that looks all put together. Um, even if you can make it look the same with like a ragtag setup, uh, it just, it, it does make your clients feel more at ease. I decided to go with this camera too over the, over the 12K just cause I didn't need the 12K yet. Like, and I know that camera's probably gonna be good for decades, right? But uh, I figured I'd start with this one, get all the kinks worked out, maybe work up, work up to my way to a 12K here eventually. But I just don't, I don't need it. So uh, as we go along, I will be diving into this camera again. Uh, like with my Pocket 6K Pro, I'm going to Alaska and I'm going to be bringing this camera along and testing it out in th the wild. So um, as I go through it, I'll... I'll post some videos about my initial reviews, my uh, initial test footage and everything. I know this camera's been out for a while, but I do want to dive into this just like my pocket 4K camera and do some cool uh, tutorials going through like minute parts of the camera that not everyone covers. Um, and that's one thing I noticed with pocket 4K was just covering things that, you know, maybe won't get the most views, but will help some of you out there that are looking for specific parts of it. And um, eventually I'll be doing uh, probably a masterclass on this one and the 6K Pro to go through all the features and settings, just like I will with the pocket 4K, which it should be out now. So if you haven't seen that, click on the link in the description if you want to see that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here and go uh, play around with this camera. But until next time, if you have any questions uh, or comments about what you think about this camera, or if you think I should have gotten a different one, or you think I'm dumb for purchasing this camera, let me know in the comments. Um, and be sure to subscribe to the channel below to keep up to date with all of our content and future videos on the Ursa Mini G2. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.